Good morning and welcome to Connect and happy Valentine's Day. I hope you have a special day showing the ones you love how much you care for them. Today our lesson comes from the book of Mark and it has to do with white. I have collected from around my house some different colored whites because white is not always the same. It can be a little more off-white, a little brighter, and even brighter. The color white has to do with our scripture today, and it has to do with not off-white or regular white or extra bright. It's unbelievable white. So let's hear the story and find out. As soon as Jesus chose his disciples, he was really busy. He taught huge crowds and performed tons of miracles. When it was finally time to move on to a new town, Jesus chose three of his disciples to join him for a hike. Their names were Peter, James, and John. Jesus led them up a high mountain. When they were far away from everyone else and out of sight, they stopped. As soon as they stopped, Jesus' clothes suddenly changed to white. But his clothes weren't just white. They weren't even bright white. They were bright white that was so bright it doesn't even exist. Jesus' robe was so bright it almost glowed. The Bible calls it a dazzling white. But no matter what you call it, it was special. Then two more men showed up out of nowhere. You might know them. Their names are Moses and Elijah. Moses is the man who led the enslaved Israelites out of Egypt. That was over a thousand years before Jesus went on earth. And that's not all. Elijah was a prophet who helped get rid of false gods and idols so people would know who the one true God was. And that was 800 years before Jesus. 800 and a thousand years? Can you believe it? They went up to heaven hundreds of years earlier, and yet they were standing with Jesus, just having a conversation like it was no big deal. Peter, James, and John were in shock. Shock! They couldn't believe what they were seeing. A bright white, so bright it didn't even exist, and now two very important men that should be in heaven. Then it got even more amazing. A cloud appeared above them, and a voice spoke out, this is my son whom I love. Listen to him. And suddenly it all disappeared. No cloud, no Moses, no Elijah, just Jesus on a hike with Peter, James, and John slowly walking back down the mountain. Well, that was a crazy story, wasn't it? We have colors that don't exist. People appearing who have been dead for a thousand to eight hundred years ago and the voice of God speaking to them from a cloud. That would be really amazing, wouldn't it? I bet that made Peter, James, and John believe that Jesus was for real. Now, in our days, we're not going to probably hear God speaking out in a regular voice or see someone from years ago who has passed away or even be able to see a color that doesn't exist. But we can still see that Jesus is real. And how can we do that? Through the Bible and reading the stories about Jesus, through prayer and talking to God, and looking around the world and seeing the amazing creation that God has for us. Those are all ways that we can know that Jesus is real. We have two fun projects to go with our story today in Connect. The first is a craft, and if you download from the descriptions in, the, in YouTube, I have here the directions for how to make the craft, and you'll also need the template of Jesus. And I've already put it together. You can either, if you have a blue styrofoam cup, you won't have to do anything to it, or like me, I colored it with crayon, or you might want to use markers, or just wrap it with a blue piece of paper. Then you'll color your Jesus, and I did mount him on a little heavier paper, so you might want to do that. And then you need a piece of ribbon or some netting that you can feed through the top of the cup. And then the idea is, this is your mountain, and Jesus 
is appearing up on top of the mountain. And you'll pull that and do it over and over to see how he appeared to the disciples. So that is our craft. And then there's also a little kind of cooking project where it's called Sky Jello, and that attachment is also in your descriptions. You're just gonna make ahead of time some blue jello, and then you'll take some Cool Whip, and I dyed it, dyed it orange with red and yellow food coloring. And you can get it whatever color you want. And so it's to depict the sky and the clouds that we heard in our story today where God came and said, this is my son, listen to him. So I hope you enjoy doing both of those. And thanks for joining me this week.